Maybe the daylight is uh, one of the most uh, basic element when uh, I think about the architecture. Because, <laughs> because uh, uh, I like to make a space where people can move freely. So that means uh, I normally don't make the some hierarchy or the some always try to make free circulation so which people can make by themselves to achieve that space it's very important that to bring the natural light homogeneously from everywhere we always try to open up the architecture like opening open the door open the window to have a fresh daylight, a fresh wind, trying to create kind of continuity going across the architecture. So kind of freshness. Is something that uh, we appreciate to help even staying inside, outside. One of the important idea for us with the Rolex Learning Center is to have a open space, one room, where people can walk freely. There is no end. You can, if you wish, you can explore you can walk until whatever you want to go. There is no wall, there is no end. Like always the light, sunlight come from beyond. There always there is something happening beyond the hill. So kind of a circuit, circulation, space continuing from here to there. This is uh, one of the important uh, try that we did in this project. Yeah, one of our ideas is not to use too much artificial lighting fixture during daytime to let people feel comfortable to stay. Rolex Learning Center is uh, kind of learning space, but at the same time a meeting space where the people can um, make new idea or new com some conversation. So our idea is to make one huge space where have a po big potential where people can meet each other. But at the same time, it's very important everyone can make own some privacy and some quiet space to concentrate to learn. So that is a very challenging thing. And so that is, uh, so every area is kind of uh, uh, important to get also the natural uh, right. Actually, the, it looks like a hill outside, or garden. At the same time, all, because of the interior, all space has roof. Mm -hmm. So, and also looks very open, but uh, very deep space and then ceiling height is not so high. So that means actually it's also one of the challenging things to get uh, natural daylight everywhere. So that's why uh, we use the, some reflection from the courtyard or <laughs> the ceiling to bring the natural daylight to the deep area. I visit the place 10, 20 times afterwards, but also sometimes my friends visited and explain the different uh, situation. <laughs> uh, people who uh, looks, uh, they they enjoying the space. They directly sit on the floor, s sit on the floor, and they study beside the window. And there there are so many running. people <laughs> come in and come out. It looks like park, 
this is uh, one of the most important uh, idea that uh, we are trying to present the architecture like a park. There's no border. There's th very open, inviting everybody to come in. That's why I appreciate o always when I come to the learning center, people look like enjoying the space. Mm, we are very happy to see that. <laughs> <laughs>